Let's be honest, you don't buy this SD for the general looks or scramble maneuver gimmick. You buy it to satisfy your Rule 34 fantasies, especially because of DAMN <laughs> What is going on guys, MJ2005 Gundam here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the SD Cross Silhouette F Kunoichi Kai from Gundam Build Metaverse. Once a Gunpla shrouded in mystery, Ayame's first alleged fan decided to share the details of the original model, pushing her to build the kit based on the Cross Silhouette frame and unveil it to the world. The F Kunoichi Kai comes with the standard SD contents of 5 runners and a large sticker sheet. Being engineered around the SD cross silhouette standard, the construction process of stacking armor pieces onto the frame of your choice should be familiar to those who followed along the SD cross silhouette line. Moreover, the structure is elementary, the gate placement allows for minimal nub marks, while the way they are molded even allows them to be snapped off the gates by hand. The build should come together quickly and easily, though you might be spending more time applying the stickers than the actual build. And since since the F Kunoichi Kai's default form uses the cross silhouette frame, I'll be using that as a representative form for the video. All put together and you have a decent representation of the F Kunoichi Kai. The feminine aesthetics have been translated well and I really like the use of clear pieces for the head and face parts as well as the scarf and crotch gem. Color choices are fine, though the gold used for both the plastic and the stickers should have been in the lemony yellow instead of the amber given by the kit. Speaking of stickers, they're not that good. Besides the multiple eye options you'll have to choose from, the forehead camera and the grey for the legs, the gold trims and vents on the shoulders, forearms, chest, front skirts, knees and ankles, as well as the F Kunoichi logos have to wrap around geometry or even a curved surface, so the end results will look a little bit tacky. Furthermore, you'll have to use paint to supplement the edges next to the stickers on top of even more gold trims on the head, beam shield emitter, knees and back skirt, as well as some grey for the hips, feet and backpack, which is a lot of paint apps on top of panel lining the kits to enrich the surface detail. The F Kunoichi Kai has a stunning silhouette, but I'll personally be applying a lot of TLC before I approve it for display. Articulation starts with a ball and hinge neck joint, but the scarf and swiveling ponytail can get in the way easily. Moreover, the helmet piece is hopelessly loose out of the box for me, so I had to fortify it in order for it to not be annoying. The scarf piece is ball jointed, but the backpack ports hinder its range of motion. The shoulders are on swinging sockets and ball joints, while the arms can raise up and spin at the shoulder. There's a hinge for the elbow and ball jointed wrists. There's a full waist rotation, ball jointed hips, a hinge at the knee, and ball jointed feet. The F Kunoichi Kai is decently flexible thanks to the cross silhouette frame, but the large upper body pieces and the loose helmet will hinder the range of motion and experience. In terms of accessories, they start with these awkward holding hands with the two extended fingers as the only hand options. These are responsible for holding the weapons by clipping them in. Weapons like the Ninja Toe with missing paint details, which can be stored in the basket when not in use, and the newly introduced Vesper Dai Kunai Kai, which feature yellow trim stickers and can be used in Vesper mode or Dai Kunai mode depending on the handle orientation, while looking rather dumb due to their larger size. Alternatively, the Kunai can be stored on the backpack and further hinder head articulation, while the handles themselves can be used as the Shikomi Beam Kunai with the use of effect parts for a more practical melee weapon. The same beam effects can also be used with the beam shield emitter as the beam shield die shuriken after repositioning it, providing the unit with a defense and throwing weapon. Though its main trick is the shinobi form transformation, known as saidai kado, or maximum output mode in normal cases. Achieved by flipping the face around while choosing a set of eyes and attaching the beam shawls into the shoulder armor, it's a very cool form that is basically just for looks. That is unless you have the SD Legend BB Knight, Musha, and Command Gundams to replace the helmet, chest armor, arms, and backpack of the F Kunoichi Kai while omitting its scarf. The body part slips straight on without much annoyance, a hard point is provided on the left skirt to mount the Musha's katana, and an adapter is included to attach the knight's cape. Each of the forms look alright, but you'll need 4 copies of the kits to create a complete scramble maneuver diorama, so I guess that's more for the dedicated SD fans. Speaking of its many forms, the head, shoulder, chest armor, backpack and scarf can be stripped before repositioning the ponytail to recreate the F Kunoichi Kai's light armor mode, revealing some impressive detail like the kanji on the forehead, 
A gym head with visor and sensor stickers is included for its disguised form, or you can assemble the kit using the SD frame by swapping the arm, leg, and waist armor over to squash its proportions while removing the arm and leg bends. And if that's not enough for you, the adapter for the knight's cape is also compatible with universal standard high-grade backpacks and striker packs. Well, given that you can clear the joints on the adapter and make it work aesthetically for the SD of your choice. For leftovers, if you decide to forego the SD frame, the chest, hip, and thigh joints of the cross and wet frame are left over as well. It's not much, but not that useful either. At the end of the day, the SDF Kunoichi Kai is just another run-of-the-mill SD kit, with the added bonus of being compatible with the SD Legend BB series of kits. However, if you take that away from it from not having the necessary DLC, what's left isn't necessarily bad, but it's not remarkable either. The over-designed nature of the source led to the use of subpar stickers and necessitates a full paint job for the best visual quality, while the large equipment, loose helmet, and awkward holding hands make it unwieldy to pose. Although, if you look at the glass half full, the foundational aesthetics are there, the weapons are multifunctional, it has 4 forms by default, and the inclusion of both the SD and cross silhouette frames is always nice. Ultimately, the SDF Kunoichi Kai is for built metaverse completionists and fans of SD kits in general. And if you choose to scramble for the money for 4 of these things plus the DLC, then that's some extra power to you. And that's all for me. Thank you for watching, drop a like and comment if you did enjoy the video, subscribe for more content like this, and feel free to follow me on social media with the links down below. That said, take it easy, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out guys, bye bye.